The very first Alex the Comic Hoarder store exclusive is available right now for pre-order at championcitycollectibles.com. I partnered with Champion City Collectibles and we hired Candace Daly or the Daily Doodle on Instagram to design and create this amazing Betty and Veronica cover. Hopefully you guys like it. Go to the championcitycollectibles.com right now and pre-order this thing today. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the comic quarter. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video today. I'm going to answer the number one question that I get in the comment section, and that's how I protect my comic books. What kind of bags and boards do I use? What kind of top loaders? And this is honestly a good lesson on how to protect your investment. We spend a lot of money on these comic books and we want to make sure that we're protecting them the best way possible. But before we do that, I want to thank the sponsor of this video. It's the short box app. It's the easiest and safest way to buy and sell graded comic books online. There's a link in the description below to download the app today for Apple and Android users. So click that link and start shopping today. It seems that everybody has been loving the foundational books and I'll do a video on what exactly is a foundational book because I don't want it to be confused uh, for anything else. I want it to be very specific on what I mean by foundational books, but everybody's been enjoying it and they've been commenting how nicely the books look and how they present. If you're frustrated with grading companies or you like raw books, because I know there's people in both camps and there's people who like both, I, I'm kind of fall in between. I like both graded books and raw books. If I'm going to buy raw books, I want them to be protected and I want them to present very, very nicely. These are what they look like. Here's a couple of the examples of these foundational books that I've put into my kind of system of protecting the investment, having them display very, very nicely. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about what products I use and they're not sponsored, they're not sponsorships. This is just for me answering the question that everybody keeps asking. So in this video, I will be rebagging and boarding. This is in Mylar right now. It's two mil Mylar, it's standard size, and it looks to be a full back behind it. So there's E Gerber Mylar 2 mil standard size. This is what I use for like kind of modern bronze age all the way to like some silver age. If it's got a spine roll, it's not gonna fit into the standard size, but most, most silver age will fit sometimes a little too snug, but that's what I use. That's pretty much the size, the one size fits all that I use for like anything modern and up. So I will be rebagging and boarding this flash number one, 97, the first appearance of Hunter Zolomon or Professor Zoom. I'll be putting this into the nice top loader and system here. So the top loaders that I use are these Ultra Pro. They're one and one or seven and one eighths by ten and a half thick. Let's see, comic top loaders. And there's ten in a pack. Typically, these are kind of hard to find right now. So if you can find them, whether you have to order them online or if your uh, local shop has them, these were about $2 a piece, as you can see here, $25.99. So about $2 a piece, $2.50 a piece, excuse me. And so those are the top loaders that I use Ultra Pro. Really love them. I don't know if any other brand makes them or if they make larger size because this will fit Silver Age books, but they have to be in regular poly bags. They can't be in Mylar. Typically for these, uh, for these books, I will try to use, if I can, E Gerber current size fullbacks. If I can't use those, I will use regular run-of-the-mill comic backing boards. And I will at least put two backing boards per bag. And then for the bags that I use, I use Mylites 2s. These are the 2 mil Mylar. These are the current size. So this fits current size really, really nicely. If there's like 1977 Bronze Age or 1975 Bronze Age, it might be a little bit too big for these bags, but I'm pretty much putting all my Copper Age foundational books in here. So let's go ahead and show you guys how that looks. And so I've got the tape. Here's another thing that I do too. I put a little flap at the top of the tape. So all I have to do is pull down and then the flap comes up and you don't have to worry about any tape, but always best rule of thumb, if there's any tape involved, just take the tape off. They, they always say tape is cheap, but <laughs> If you get a tape pull, that sucks. So the book is out. This is a nice full back. I'm gonna set this book aside while I get the other supplies out. So I'm gonna be using two backing boards, regular size. These are like modern size or current size backing boards. So I'll be using those. I will get one bag out. Really nice crystal clear, high definition Mylar bag. 
Okay, so the first thing I do, it's common sense. I've been doing this for a long time. You wanna put the comic book on the two boards. And the reason why I use two boards, it just makes it more rigid, less easy to bend, less easy to have a uh, mess up. I put the comic book on the backing board first. And one thing that I do is I try to leave a little extra space at the bottom. I know this is for, for a lot of people who've been collecting for a long time. They're like, no, duh. But there's, you know, there's folks out there that haven't been collecting a long time. And that's why they're asking the questions. So I like to do that so that I can have plenty of, of room and it's not the comic book pushing into the bag, it's the boards pushing into the bag. So I usually, on Mylar bags, they're sharp. So watch out, I usually lift up the flap there and let the book just kind of fall into the bag. Pushing on only the boards, never the book. And then when I get to the bottom, I've got a little extra room so I just do a little tap there and the book is in the mylar. So now I'm gonna place the tape as before. I've got the blue painter's tape. Love blue painter's tape, been using it for years and years and years. And then it seems like a lot of other people are now using blue painter's tape. Fold it over and I place the tape onto the bag. So now you've got that nice flap there that you can pull down when you want to, when you want to get into this bag and board, it's ready to go. All right, now I take one of my top loaders, really nice crystal clear top loaders. Ultra clear is what they say on here. Take that. I used to do it like this so that the flap would be, so you know it would never get caught on the flap like that, but anymore, I don't care. And it doesn't, it doesn't really make a difference. So I place that in the top loader, making sure that the tabs don't get bent or dog-eared. And now you have an amazing, beautiful presenting key issue that's well protected. This book, maybe for the longest time, I feel like this has been a hundred dollar book. Don't know if it still is, maybe 75. I, I'm, I, I have no clue. That's not really the point of this video. It's not showing this book. This is one that I've had in the collection for a little bit. I've showed this in a haul before, but this is just to answer what I use for my comic book protection, for my to protect my investment. I use these Mylites 2s, regular bags and boards. These are current size Mylars with the inch and a half flap. So there's archival ones, there's, you know, archive, archival ones are kind of like top loaders themselves. They just slide right in and they don't really seal up. But these ones have the one and a half inch flap that I really like those so that I can tape the flap down, protects the book really nicely. And then I use these Ultra Pro top loaders. Love these things. You can get them, you know, at any comic book shop, hopefully that has like supplies and they can get them. If they don't have them, ask if they can get them. Uh, they're really nice. So hopefully you guys found value in this. If you're brand new to the channel, would love if you hit that subscription button, hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos. I'm gonna be doing more of the foundational books, especially explaining what the foundational books are. Just dedicated video to explaining what foundational books are. If you guys would, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, comment down below what you think of this video. What do you use for supplies? And did this answer your question on what I use? Hopefully you guys are well, and I will talk to you on the next one. See you, bye.